Hi, Steve here with Cardiac Cycling. Today I want to talk to you about bicycling safety. What you can do to safeguard yourself. Now, I'm talking about something more than just a helmet. Road ID and a Road ID app. The Garmin head unit or bicycle computer and Garmin's Varia rear view radar. These are three things I think every cyclist should have. So let's talk about them real quick. Road ID. I'll put the link below for ordering a Road ID as well as for the Road ID app. The Road ID app, let's talk about that first. It tracks you as you move. If you stop for more than five minutes and you don't move more than, I believe it's um, five yards during that five minutes, the app will send an alert to your emergency contacts. There is an opportunity to cancel the alert before it sends, but let me tell you, it will send if you hang around. So um, if you stop to get some water and you're there for more than five minutes, it's gonna send and you're gonna get a phone call from somebody. So it's a great tool, but you gotta be mindful of the tools that you have. So that's the Road ID app. Now, the Road ID itself, the, there's a bracelet, um, there's several different versions you can get. I, I wear the bracelet almost all the time. I also have a, looks like a dog tag. So it's got the same information on it as this guy has. I also wear a Velcro ankle ID when I'm riding my bike. So I've got several different things covered. Why do I wear so many? Well, I wear the one that's like a dog tag because when I had my cardiac arrest, I had this guy on. They weren't looking at that, they were looking at my chest. So, lesson learned, if you have a medical history like me, you wanna wear one of these things where they're gonna be looking. Same reason for one on my arm as well as on my ankle. If it's a broken arm and I'm unconscious, maybe they'll see this, a uh, leg unconscious, maybe they'll see it there. I pay an additional amount on an annual basis to have my medical history stored and available. So there is, on the back of each of my IDs, there is a serial number and PIN. On the front, there's an 800 number, a toll-free number. So an emergency responder can call that number. They'll get a live operator who can read them my entire history. Now, this is medical history, which I've loaded into the site. So it's up to me to make sure I've got everything there that I want an emergency responder to know and to make sure there's nothing in there I don't want them to know. That's Road ID. Garmin Varia and the Garmin head unit. Let's take a look at those real quick. The head unit right here. This has, this is an 820. It's now been replaced by an 830 has many of the same features. Feature I like, in addition to some of the software on here, is the incident detection. If I go down, this thing's going to send a text and or email, depending on how I have it set up, to my emergency contacts. I program those emergency contacts into this using the Garmin Connect laptop or desktop or smartphone app. If you go down, you have an opportunity to cancel. So there's a warning noise that'll come on and then it will ask you if you want to cancel. And if you say, yes, I do want to cancel, then it'll ask you the same question again, but the answer will be located in a different place. So there's a, a bit of a brilliance plugged in to the way they've got this done. If you're disoriented, you're not going to be able to get the second one. I've done this two times. Fortunately, I was not disoriented on either occasion and was able to cancel before it sent my wife a message and she would panic and that just wouldn't be good, especially given my history. So the third thing is the Garmin rear view radar. That's this. So you can pair these two things just as you would pair the heart rate monitor to your head unit. So what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna pause. All right, here's the head unit. So we turn the head unit on. 
I had it in sleep mode, so it wouldn't take so long. And pair it with the rear view. Okay, you see the lights now? Bing, 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 bing. Okay, and I keep it in the blink mode because get more battery life out of it, number one. Number two, I think it does a better job of getting people's attention. Once we've done that, then the simple way to pair, I'm gonna swipe down and you can see here it says connecting two sensors. So I'm gonna touch that. So we have a variety of things that are already paired with this head unit. And missing from that is the Varia rear view radar. So we're gonna to touch add sensor. I'm gonna click search all. And you can see, there it is. And we're gonna add that. So just touch add. And if I have someone else riding with me, like my wife, who doesn't have the rear view radar, but wants to have the same benefit as I, we can pair her Garmin head unit to the same Varia rear view radar to mine. So we can use one radar for two or more people. In lieu of showing you more in depth about the radar, I'm gonna have a link to a video from Garmin on the Varia radar. It's a great thing to have. I highly recommend anyone that's riding, on the road especially, to get one of these. They also make one for the front. I haven't really found a need to have one on the front. If I'm not watching in front of me, I might deserve whatever I get. Anyway, that's it for now. Hope you found this useful. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. If you found something in here that's useful, give us a thumbs up. And if you're subscribed, make sure you click the little bell. Once you click the bell, then anytime I upload a new video, you'll get a notification. So take care. Thanks for watching. See you on the road. If you enjoy what you see on this channel, please click the subscribe button.